For those of you that take the time to scrap flat screen LED TVs, I'm talking about the LED types, there's some hidden copper in there that I want to talk about. Come on, let's dive in and find it. Before we dive into the scrap, let's talk a little bit about flat screen TVs. Here is your typical shark's eye view of a swimmer as displayed on a flat screen TV. Now, as most of you know, the screen of a flat screen TV is a liquid crystal display. But liquid crystals do not emit light on their own. They have to be lit by something else. Those light sources are either CCFLs for cold cathode fluorescent lamps or LEDs. The LEDs can either be edge lights or backlights. So here you see a typical CCFL or cold cathode fluorescent tube type flat screen TV. This is what's behind the liquid crystal display and the various prismatic uh, lenses. Now, scrapping these presents a difficulty because these tubes contain mercury. They shouldn't just be thrown in the trash, which means you should be taking them to a transfer station or someplace that can handle fluorescent tubes for recycling. Now, here we see the two varieties of LED type backlights, the indirect or edge light and the direct light, which has a matrix of LEDs behind the liquid crystal display. Now it's this direct backlight that is interesting for us and provides an opportunity for some hidden copper. Now we're diving into this scrap already in progress. I've taken off the back cover uh, and the stand, of course, as you can see, and we're looking at the typical arrangement of power board and T-cons, controller boards and stuff uh, on this uh, TV. So let's go ahead first do the scrap these boards so that you have an idea of what's on the boards. And then we're going to talk about the hidden copper. Wire. Just some low-grade insulated copper wire there and here. Power board, control boards. Um, this will be low-grade insulated copper wire, but there's gold edges on that connector part, so I'll trim that off and set that separately with my gold connectors. And if it's on one side, it's probably on the other side. Yep. So right along Right along there, there's uh, gold fingers, gold flashing, so you just put that with your gold connector ends. So this board looks like it might have a, uh, yep, gold cornered BGA board. Uh, That's just a heat sink here. Let me get this board off and show you. Okay, so this is a, uh, for my yard, this will be a gold, a, a medium grade board, mainly because of this gold edged BGA, gold cornered BGA. If you're into depopulating, you can pull that for the gold. You've got one, two, three oscillators, uh, and those are good for your silver stack. Uh, there's some other ICs, some BGAs. So there's some, uh, you know, more of them here and here. So there's some more things that you can pull off if you're into depopulating. These connectors here are HDMI and they're, I do not see any visible, visible 
gold plating on those connectors. Let's see what's hiding underneath of here, if it'll come off easy. The US, USB type connectors will have gold plating. Yeah, there's gold plating there and there. That's probably gold plating in there. hiding underneath of there. That is another crystal. All right, so we've got another little piece of board there with a crystal and a bead, uh, flat pack on it. I'll probably just leave those. Uh, so with my yard and the way prices are going, I'll probably pull um, I'll probably pull the BGA and the oscillators, throw it in my mid-grade bucket. And see, no, no, that oh, it's too much of a downgrade. Um, probably not much in these oscillators as new as this board is. So I'm just going to pull the BGA and the oscillators. And then what I'll do is I'll put it in my mid-grade bucket. But because I always take my buckets in by high-grade, low-grade, mid-grade in that order, when they pick through them, they can put anything that doesn't qualify as a high grade into the mid grade. If it doesn't qualify as a mid grade, they can throw it in with the low grade. So that way we know we're clean when we're going through the boards with them. Oops. Okay, so now we have another board here. This one is also pretty interesting, uh, but let's first check. Oh, look at that, isn't that pretty? Uh, gold edging on that. And there's gold fingers on these too. So these both have gold fingers. I'm just going to set those aside. Those will go into a separate container later on. trim off the gold fingers and then the rest of it goes in with the um, insulated copper wire. Uh, this is a real nice board here. The um, Is that a resistor? I think it's a resistor. It's got gold on it. Here, let's do this. Right there, see that gold? Isn't that sweet? So that'll come off. There's some MLCCs, flat pack, flat pack, more MLCC. They're not great big, but they're worth taking. So this is a nice little board here, and on the back, copper. So, yeah, this will be a nice board. We'll depopulate the MLCCs. Ooh, a tantalum capacitor. More MLCCs. We'll do a depop on this, and then throw the carcass in with the low grades. And then this is the power board. It's a low grade almost by definition, but you can see there's copper here, copper here, and uh, these are really easy to pull off. There you go, and there you go. So there's two nice little copper coils that you can uh, pull the copper out, put it with your number two copper. There's another one there that we'll pull off. There's an aluminum heat sink with some FETs that we can pull off. Um, there's a fuse that you can pull off if you collect fuses. Uh, this is a transformer, so you can decide if you want to throw that in with copper motors or leave it on there for the weight. Otherwise, it's some caps and diodes and stuff um, and a low-grade board. Insulated copper wire. The 
these braces, I don't need to keep on the frame uh, for closing it up, so. And then down here, we have the finger strip board, so let's uh, take a look at um, it should be easy enough to pop that up and get at that finger strip board. Yeah, there we are. Now that I know which way to pull it off. There you go. Okay, so frequently this is one board. In this case, it was two. And you can see why they call these finger strip boards because look at that. You just got this nice strip of fingers running across there. Both of these boards, there's usually very little, few components on there. So you can just pull off the components. They're very small, probably not even worth keeping pop off the components and then you've got some nice finger gold finger um, boards so these will get depopulated and then thrown in with the gold finger and that is it for this for this scrap I'm gonna leave this metal frame on here No, you know what, I don't have to because I can see this is one of the ones that you can actually do a bit more scrapping on. So uh, hang on, let me show you. We're not going to be putting this one back together. plastic frame. This is glass. Uh, it's not that fragile, but um, uh, this glass I will put in my trash. Uh, and um, I'm not going to break it here. I'm going to break it in the can in a bag. All right. So, but it's not very fragile. So I'm just, I can set it aside for a minute. Then we can pull off the rest of this frame. Now, you really need to get to know your TVs, your flat screens, before you, because normally I wouldn't go into these because they have small tubes, uh, the, uh, the, the, you know, like the small fluorescents. But this particular variety has, once you get past all the various lenses, Fresnel lenses, this tube has little LEDs all over the place, so that's all just trash. And pull this tape off of here. Just some packing tape. Help keep everything in place. Now this is what we're going to find out. When we look at the back of this, eh, rats. It probably is not. Sometimes the back of these are that. This is not one of them, but in some cases, this will be copper. 
a nice very thin strip almost like copper tape heavy copper tape in this case it's not it's some other compound that they're using to transfer the energy uh, so uh, when this is copper it's re it's really cool you can bust it break it and then pull the copper off and throw it in with your number two copper in this case it's just going to go in with the low grade boards make it small enough to, so it's easier to handle. So I knew it wouldn't be long before I found an LED TV with the copper backing. This particular one, the LED strips are held down with three little screws. And a little bit of sticky tape. There you go. And there's the copper on the back. Now the way that I've found that works the, uh, the easiest for getting at the copper tape is to go with the LED side up. Here's the LEDs. All right. So you go with the LED side up, give it a little snap. And then once you have it snapped, you give it a little wiggle and you can see how the tape starts to separate from the back of the board all right then you can peel the, the tape off of the back now sometimes it's gonna rip you know sometimes you'll get the whole strip off nice and clean all right and so there's your nice little strip of copper tape you throw that in with your number two when it uh, if it snaps like this you know, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt now. You can try to get in there. Uh, let's see if I can loosen it up with a screwdriver real quick. Nah, it's not. That doesn't want to work. So if that happens, again, it's no big deal. Just go to another part on that board, give it a little snap, and now you can start peeling the tape off. All right, and then you flip this part over and finish pulling the tape off. All right, so there's your copper tape. These are low-grade boards now. It's not a whole lot of weight. Is it worth the effort? You know, it's up to you, right? Um, like any scrapping thing, it's up to you. It's a little bit of copper uh, in with your number two. Um, and it... Uh, with the LED type backlit boards, it allows you to scrap almost the entire TV. Some of you may want to keep the uh, the lens screens that you pull off and the white plastic and sell those to crafts uh, people. Uh, I don't mess with that, but I think there are some folks out there that sell those to craft people. So just uh, a little extra copper for you. <laughs>